Welcome back to the Forensics Detailing Channel. In this video, we've got an absolute stonking deal where you get one of these two cool products for free. Which one is it? What are these products? What's going on? Stay tuned to find out. So welcome back to the Forensics Detailing channel, guys. Great to see you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Now, on Saturday, I am doing a road trip that I've been looking forward to for months, and I'm going to the Alps. Now, in preparation for going, I wanted to get my car washed and protected with something that's gonna be ideal for kind of spring, summer, warm conditions. Something that's gonna make the car look at its best, a show quality finish, but it's also gonna last the duration of the trip and, and beyond. So, what's going on there? The Kwame. What is this product, guys? What's it all, what's it all about? Should you use it over Fuso? Where does it sit in their range of protective products? We'll cover all of that and the light and dark thing because there's two versions of it. But also, Soft99 have brought out this new, I've gotta be careful with the pronunciation, I think it's Kujutsu shampoo, which is essentially a maintenance shampoo, which is all about preserving the protection, ceramic coatings especially, but all other forms of LSP on your car, and also has some other unique features. And one of the cool unique features is if that you buy a pot of Kiwami um, for £21.99 from Soft99 store, and I'll link it in the description, you get this new Kujutsu shampoo for free, you get to try it. So if you've been thinking about buying Kiwami, now is the time because you get a bottle of cool shampoo for free. Now I want to move on and talk to you about what I've done and these particular products. Okay guys, so the Kujitsu shampoo has been formulated specifically for cars that have been protected with PPF, with ceramic coating, with waxes or sealants. So this product is there to avoid degrading those forms of protection. There are some other key features with this. It's also meant to be a really sun-friendly um, shampoo like their Creamy Egg. They used um, glycerine in the formulation, which is something which stops the soap just drying out into a dry, chalky film on your car in the sun. And they've also added some properties to this where it's a lot easier to rinse. So you haven't got to chase it out. Um, you know, very free rinsing product that you can rinse off of the car easily. Now this product is pH neutral effectively between pH six and seven. Um, you use this at around 75 to 100 mil in a bucket wash system, but you could also use it in a snow foam lance at around one to five, one to 10. I'd go closer to one to five if you want that thicker foam. And you can use it as a pre-wash. So I sprayed it over my car this morning um, let it dwell, rinsed it off, and then I put some in the bucket just to see how it performed and how thick it was. But I also used what was left in the snow foam lance to foam back over the car. Sometimes in the summer, you have to be careful using that method because those soaps can dry out. But this product, again, stayed nice and wet on the surface of the car, even in quite heavy sunlight. So that's an advantage, a good summer soap, okay? This product also has a dense, thick, white, creamy foam that slides over the panel and feels nice and loose when you're cleaning the car. So it's everything you'd want a shampoo to be, guys. Um, it's not a deep cleaning product. It's not a caustic cleaner. It's not gonna um, work as an engine bay cleaner or anything heavy. This is all about the maintenance of what you've got there. Um, and for some people, that is a really important factor the, um, the degradation of kind of LSP. So if that's up your street, then this product is gonna be for you and you are gonna get it free in this video. It's ideal for hobbyists, professionals, and enthusiasts, and it's completely safe, um, skin safe, because it's not caustic. So you don't have to glove up when you're using it and you don't have to worry about your hands kind of itching. So it's a mild, safe, friendly shampoo that's thick and foamy for pres preserving protection. It's a lot of peas and very handy in the summer when it's hot. There we go. 
So next we're on to the glamorous product of the two guys, the Kwame, which means extreme in Japanese. Now this product is called a hybrid formulation. And what it actually is, is it's based on the King of Gloss wax, which was a synthetic hard curing wax, which was really all about gloss. Um, and they've taken that formula, but added Carnuba to it. Carnuba is an organic wax, which gives a real natural kind of glow to the finish of your car. They say you can really see like the jetting when you've applied a wax to your car and you've got like that fresh wax look. It's still perhaps considered the ultimate kind of finish for your vehicle. The disadvantage with these show type waxes that used to exist is after you've washed the car once, all of that kind of gloss and performance or big chunk of it gets washed away. But with a modern car wax product like this, you're going to still see that performance for several months. I think up to three months is the claim on this product. And that's what I want because I'm going to the Alps. It's going to rain. I might even do a waterless wash on the car while I'm out there. And I don't want to lose all the shine that I've got on the car from today. So I want something with a little bit of durability. It's, um, so let's go through some facts on this particular wax. So like we said, it's a hybrid formula, synthetic base with natural T1 Carnuba added into it. It's got excellent hydrophobicity, <laughs> water repellency, so it beads and stuff like that. But it's also smooth and it also has some dirt repellency characteristics, which I think come from the synthetic wax that they use. Um, depth, vitreousness of the gloss, um, stunning mirror effect. Yes, when you buff that paint, you can really see that reflection and that jetting as you get any curved angles of the panel and the reflection kind of distorts and accelerates away. When that's drawn to your eye, then your car is generally looking really, really cool. What's also cool is the camera struggles to actually pick up the paintwork and it's focusing on all the reflections because the car is so shiny. That's the cool thing about waxes. This wax also is easy to apply. It's a dry curing wax, which I tend to like. So you apply it onto the panel using the applicator that comes within the tin. You can dampen this applicator, get it wet, squeeze it all out just so it's damp. Um, and then that helps you not um, get too much wax on the applicator and it helps that wax come off of the applicator. You can pick up a little bit of wax in the tin and then work panel by panel or section by section, apply that wax to the surface. You can go in circles, you can go then finish out in straight lines, whatever your preference is. Then give it about five to 10 minutes till that wax starts to cure. Make sure you haven't put thick ridges of that wax on because then it gets harder to buff when that cures and it is a dry curing wax. But the cool thing about this wax is it is lovely and light to buff and really you should be able to get the wax off with one pass. You're not gonna see any smearing or be chasing bits of wax to get a good finish. One swipe and once you've gone over that section, it should be nice and shiny and it is, and it works well on a black car. So if you get a good buff on a black car, it's gonna be, you know, on other cars, it's gonna be a doddle. So very nice wax to use, guys. Um, three months, I think, is conservative on the durability. This wax is a jack of all trades. People will always ask me the question, John, should I use a Kwame or should I use the Fuso wax? Well, it's all about whether or not you're looking for a balance of gloss and kind of protective performance or really just protective performance. Fuso wax really is about uh, durability. That's the main reason to use it. But it doesn't look as good as Kwame. We said that, you know, seven or eight years ago. This really is a baseline kind of sealant slash wax that feels nice and slick and very, very hydrophobic. Um, so if you want protection, you want to get through winter or something like that, perhaps Fuso is right. If you're looking for more like a show product that you can apply a few times throughout the summer that's going to shine a little bit more, then it's definitely the Kwame. Are there any other options in the Soft 99 range? Yes, there's 16 other waxes that we've been through and it's, it's a lot to digest and we won't repeat ourselves. Um, but if you're looking for an out and out show wax at the other end of the scale, then I think the mirror shine is the way to go. So Kwame sits somewhere in the middle where it has show shine from the Carnuba, but it has a good amount of durability and uh, chemical resistance and hydrophobicity and all the stuff you want to see. Very important. I'll put a link to the description which explains the difference between the Kwame black version 
and the Kwame uh, light version. This is the light version. Excuse me, I'm about to cough. <coughs> what is essentially the difference? Well, the black version tends to contain more fillers because on black paint, you tend to see fine swirls and scratches and hazing and stuff like that. Um, and on white cars, um, you don't need that filling effect so much, so they put more cleaners. So if you've got a black car, buy the black version. If you've got a white car or a light car, buy the light version. If you've got a mixture of both, I wouldn't really worry too much about which one you buy, but perhaps go for the black because the fillers are going to be more universally um, useful than the cleaners. But the formulation differences are very small, and I've used the light version of my black car because there's not a lot of swirls on it and it works absolutely fine, so I wouldn't worry too much about that. There's one other really important thing. When you're using Kwame uh, or any product, people like to ask me, how do I complement it? How do I maintain it? Um, and that's what we're gonna cover next. And finally, guys, what's the best way to maintain that Kwame finish, the gloss and the hydrophobicity and all that sort of stuff beyond just using the Kujitsu shampoo? Well, I think, if in doubt, like for like. Soft 99 have got this product called Luxury Gloss, which is a spray wax slash detail spray that you can use every wash as a drying aid, or you can use it after the car's been washed and dried to spray on the panel, spray and wipe and add shine. And it's got Carnuba in it, which I always think um, is a nice way to gloss up the car and it's going to complement what you've got on there. Um, so sometimes, you know, Soft 99 carry their technologies across. So they might use a Fuso technology in their baseline sealant that we talked about and then have like a Fuso booster topper that's ideal for that product. But in this instance, Kwame wax backbone, spray wax topper, that's going to work great. So finally, guys, I am over the moon because my car is washed and it's now protected. It's now jetting. It's looking sharp as I like it to look ahead of my road trip to the Alps. So the only thing I've got left to do is to figure out where I put these things on the car. Got any ideas? Stick it in the comments. Otherwise, a huge thank you to Soft99 for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to check out the link in the description where you can grab this deal where you get the free shampoo when you buy your tin of dark or light Kawami from the link provided. Take care, have a great weekend, um, and I'll see you on the next video. Where was I when you